Welcome, my name is Georgine and this is your core flow with weights. So the props you'll need, the pair of two or three pound weights, light weights, uh, heavier weights, three, five, or even more, a mat or blanket to do the practice on and any cushion you might find you need. So taking the heavy weights, frame about the middle of your mat and take your light weights towards the front of your mat. Just so they're easily grabbable. And then when you're ready, after you place the weights, slowly make your way down to your back. Any way you'd like, you can use some core strength, go a little bit slower, or you can uh, just roll down quick. So take a moment here, plant your feet, hands to belly or hands beside you, and just find your breath, find your neutral spine. Feel the outer shoulders relax down and just check in. Start to pay attention to your feet, rooting into the four corners, and then take your weights and place them on your hips. Now the weights are always optional for this whole practice. Then lift up to the highest point, see if you can find that length from shoulders to knees, and then hinge of the hips, place the bum down, lifting and lowering. Now if you start to feel your knees, always readjust where your feet are or how far apart they are. What I want you to feel here is the back of the legs, the glutes. So the back body is really helping you here. And then from here, half range of motion. So hinge of the hip, go halfway down and all the way up. And I find the tendency is to want to lift the heels. See if you can press into the heels a bit more. And then staying at the top and little tiny pulses now. So again, rooting into the heels, squeezing through the glutes, the bum. Find the back of the body waking up. No anytime stillness is always an option if you need. And then option, repeat that, or bring your feet mat distance apart. It gets a little bit more like outer leg line. And then lifting to the top again, check in with that line from shoulders to knees and then lower and lift. Now I've found, I felt this a lot more because I went on a big hike yesterday. So be mindful depending on what your activities are. And I want you to pause at the top and just pulse your legs a little bit out. Now check in how this feels for hips, knees, ankles. I want you to feel the outer glutes. And then you can go back to that full range of motion. Go to half range of motion and get creative here. But the goal is just to wake up the back of the body. And then you can do the option, just pause, or again, the pulsing out of the legs and really paying attention, what do you feel? How do you feel it? Okay, and then come all the way down. You can robot your arms beside you, shake out your legs. Okay, and then from here, tabletop your legs. You can point your toes, flex your feet, it doesn't really matter. And then tap your right toes down and left toes. Now, don't think, of, try not to think about kicking your bum, think about hinging at the hip. So imagine you had a cat sleeping right beside you and you didn't want to step on the cat. An option at arms and just kind of punch up the arms. I'm a 90s kid, so I always think sock and rock and robots. I was always awful at that game. But my strategy would always be just like press all of the buttons at the same time. Okay, and now from here, keep your arms lifted and see if you can lower both legs halfway down at once. And you'll notice the low back will want to start to lift. So if you start to feel that lift, you're going a bit too far, that's fine. Just don't go that far. And then <laughs> almost bail from my cat. Option to stay or add again some arms so your hands will stay connected here and working a little bit to triceps. You might find you need just one weight for this. I don't want you to feel your neck. I don't want you to feel your jaw tensing up. I want you to feel your arms, 
I want you to feel your core strengthening. Option to do one at a time, finding what works best for you. Option, add a little pulse. So pulsing your legs down a little bit, pulsing your arms down a little bit. And then when you're ready, arms lift, knees pull into chest, and slowly place your weights down gently. Hug your knees to chest, nose towards knees. Feel a little slight curve through your spine, belly hugs in. Keep the lift through your upper body. Now, from here, I want you to extend your arms overhead, legs out in front of you. Swim your arms around and hug your knees in. Reach out, away, and then hug in. I've never really done any fancy dives before off the high diving board, but I feel like this is like some kind of technique you use to get all those spins in. So kind of think about that. And then reach out and hold and rock up the length of your spine to a seat. Feet together, knees wide for a butterfly. Let your torso round over your legs, letting yourself soften. You can find movement, stillness, whatever you need. And then when you feel ready, just finding a little twist. So you can keep the butterfly legs, or if that doesn't feel good, cross your legs. Just twist the other way. Nothing crazy, just like a nice simple twist works. Okay, moving on. So coming to all fours, being mindful of where you place the weights. Start with the light weight in your right hand. Now you can air weight uh, if you need. And reach the right hand out, even weight between each shin. And then just lift your right arm as high as you feel comfortable with. And then lower it down. Lifting and lowering. Now I want you to notice the left side of your body and it's almost like the left obliques will lift up as your right arm lifts up. And just notice the movement of your arm. Obviously you're lifting your arm, but also this like, if you can keep the rest of your body still. Now hold your arm up in tiny little pulses at the top. Notice what you're feeling. Notice what's engaging. few more pulses here and then place the weight gently down. Now I'm going to grab the second light weight and place it behind your left knee. So this is kind of part two. You're going to flex or point. Flex helps my brain a bit more. Flex your foot, weight behind your knee, hold it there. Think about your abdominals engaging and then right hand where it was before and then lift your leg to start. So now you'll kind of be thinking of like having to keep both sides of your body lifted. And then option, if you feel ready, you can lift your right arm at the same time as your left leg. Again, this can be done with air weights. It can be done with heavier weights. I personally like the three pounds for this, but find what works best. And then remember to keep breathing because that's always, you know, breathing's good. Now hold your arm and leg up in little tiny pulses. I always imagine I'm trying to balance something on the sole of my foot. Um, and that helps me think about something else. And then when you're ready, arm down, leg down. If you ever want to do a second set, you can always pause the video and do a second set. I'll just be hanging out in a child's pose. Okay, second side. So um, arm only first, so left arm. And this is also a good time if you ever need a cushion or you need to come onto your forms or fists or whatever, find what works best. So again, start with the arm lifts. Now we all have a dominant side, unless you're ambidextrous, but just kind of notice if this side feels different, more or less challenging. Just get curious about it. And then keep your arm lifted, little pulse. Now I know with my left side, because I use my left arm more, it's sometimes more challenging for me to lift higher. Okay, part two. 
same arm. Grab your second weight, place it behind your right knee, flex your foot, hug the weight in, option cushion your left knee if you need a little extra cushion, because why not? It's November now. And then start with it, just the leg lifts. You can have your left hand underneath your shoulder, but for here, I like to have it a little bit further forwards, up to you. I just like the extra challenge. And then it preps for when you wanna lift your arm up. So you can option arm and leg at the same time, option just leg, option just arm, find what works best for you. And keep breathing because that's always good. And then keep your arm and leg lifted, little tiny pulses. Find your breath, feel the core strength. And then arm down, leg down. You can take a child's pose or whatever else you need. Downward dog. You can just hold plank. Okay. From here, come to all fours. I like to scooch to the front of the mat. And you're going to step your right foot, left foot back and then right knee down, left knee down, and then switch. So basically stepping from plank to all fours. I like this as prep for plank and push-ups. And then when you're ready, come all the way down to your belly because we're getting right into push-ups. Push-ups from the knees, lifting and lowering. Find a length through your neck. So see if you can touch your sternum and belly button at the same time, option to lift your knees up. Find the pace that works for you, fast or slow. And then when you're ready, step back into a downward facing dog. Find the length from wrist to sit bones. Option, pedal up through your feet. Option for stillness. From here, walk your feet to the front of your mat. Bring your feet together. Sit down to your bum. Now light on your tiptoes. Start to roll your way down to your back and hug your knees to chest. Cool, starting to wind down. So right leg hugs in, left leg long, one knee twist, cross your right leg to the left side. And then come back to center, hug both knees in, take a little moment, switching sides, left knee in, right leg long, find your twist. Nice big breaths. Hug both knees in. And make your way to a butterfly. So feet together, knees wide. Roll by your arms. Let's find some movement to the rest. So open and close your hands. Roll out your wrists. Find any kind of movement you need. Okay, then give yourself a hug. So reach your arms up. Cross right elbow in front of your left elbow. And just let your arms feel floppy and then lift your arms up and switching sides. Finding your breath. And then from here, reaching your arms up, slowly roll your way up to a seat. So thanks for sticking around. Thanks for joining me on this core flow journey. Until next time, my name is George. See you on the mat.